All right, here we are, Mark, Centerline Systems. We are gonna shoot a video here, and this is gonna be an over the, you know, big picture once around the world of our mother canteen carrier. This is not going to be a loadout video. So with Big Spoon helping out, uh, we're actually gonna go back through and do a bunch of the old videos that I did by myself that are straight up Bollywood style videos. Um, but we're just gonna start with just a, you know, an introduction to the mother canteen carrier. Uh, I, I will show you a few things, but we'll do the, a loadout video. We'll shoot that all over again so you can clearly see a whole bunch of different ways to use this product. Um, all kinds of different, you know, items that can fit into the pockets, different ways you can carry it, configurations, you know, yada, yada, yada. But in this video, on this incredibly windy, snowy day, again, we're just going to do kind of a once around the world, introduce you to the product. Um, now we got a little bit better, uh, you know, uh, video, um, you know, capability going on with the spoon helping out. And that's it. So let me put my eyeballs on. And without further ado, we're going to jump into it. So I'm going to use as my example, uh, I've got a multicam Tropic in front of me. I'm going to start off with the shoulder strap. Now we've done videos on the shoulder strap and we've covered this a whole bunch of times. So suffice it to say, I'm just going to, I'm not going to show you a bunch of the different ways that you can attach things to the shoulder strap or use it. I'm just going to point out that the mother, the scout bottle carrier, um, and the mother canteen carrier, they come with shoulder straps. So I do have some people who order a separate shoulder strap. I guess there's companies that you have to buy the shoulder strap separately. I don't know. Maybe I'm not sure what it is, but I've actually reached out to people like, Hey, are you just buying an extra shoulder strap for something else? Or cause it comes with it. So just want to make that clear. It comes with a shoulder strap. Um, now, uh, a little over a year ago, I guess I'll just throw this in there. We were making the shoulder strap with it. It had a male and a female adapter. So the shoulder strap could be connected. And then an extremis, you could use the shoulder strap for all kinds of different things. Now you can still do that with our gear strap kit. So there's a plug for our gear strap kits. You can still connect. There's a connector that goes to it, it, that connects both ends of the, so it's a, basically it's a female, female connector. So you can still do that with the shoulder strap. Um, and I'll use that as a segue into going into how the shoulder strap connects to the mother canteen carrier, which is over on the sides using these chasm buckles. So give us a little zoom there, spoon, just a small spoon zoom, not a crazy one. So these are chasm buckles uh, by ITW Nexus quick attach surface mount. I think in a video not too long ago, I called them quick attack. You could see where my brain was. I was quick attack. No, quick attach surface mounts. And uh, they are removable. So if you did want to have a shoulder strap made the old way, which is, you know, a male and a female, and I have to put different buckles here. They're called split bars. So we covered that in a different video, but I just want to like highlight it again here. Well, here, I'll just take a step back. Everything we do at Centerline System is handcrafted, right? It's handcrafted, custom made, built to order, right? So we take great pride in that. So we only use the best materials out there. And, you know, I get customers asking like, hey, do I have any of these in inventory? So way back in the day when we first started, I actually did try doing inventory. And then just the way it goes, like I'd make 10 of these in multicam. But again, there's so many options, right? You know, what color webbing do you want? What color thread? What color, you know, logo plastics? And we've covered this in a couple of videos. I would make 10 and then th that wouldn't get ordered for like two or three weeks. And then it would be just some other, you know, different thing. So we stopped doing that because um, we were just chasing our tails, right? So everything now is built as it's ordered and we do that in the sequence in which they're ordered. So um, kind of going into that, I guess that was my little plug. If you do want like a slight modification to this, you know, you just got to let me know if you want the different buckles, the quick uh, correction of these split bars as opposed to the quick attached service mounts. Um, and then I guess that, that'll be just another kind of like nice segue. So as you look on the outside, so this is multicam Tropic. We do try to keep the website, you know, keep it simple, stupid, right? Because I don't want to have 20 different drop downs. So you really only see drop downs for the color of the Kadura and the color of the webbing. And then, you know, you can see this webbing, right? So this is multicam tropic webbing. You can see it here. It's on all the fast, uh, the side release buckles, the bikini strap on the outside. And then there's the Kadura. So those are your two drop downs. But now you can see over here. So this is Ranger Green with Coyote Brown uh, um, webbing 17337. Traditionally, if you don't reach out to me, we're going to follow the webbing. So the thread that we use to stitch it, the binding tape, and that's this material that goes around the opening, the logo and the plastics are going to follow 
the webbing unless you let me know when you have a specific request. All right, so that, that was worth throwing in there because like I said, there's no upcharge on that. We make these all by hand. So, I mean, the only upcharge, if you want to call it that, it's not even a char charge, upcharge. I think um, uh, Shark Tank people would yell at me. So obviously, multicam is more expensive than a solid color. I just can't lose money when you want multicam webbing or multicam uh, Kadura. I only charge the difference so I don't lose money. I can't, you know, make this and lose, you know, 20 bucks because you want it multicam. That's all I do. So there's no upcharges. And I may have just focused a little bit on multicam, but what I'm trying to say is don't be shy. If you want this binding tape to be a different color, you want the thread to be a color, the logo, I'm making this for you. So reach out. I mean it very seriously. You're spending your hard and money. So let's make this the way you want it and let's make it as unique as your fingerprint. All right. That was a little bit of a side ramble. I wasn't really thinking I would talk about here. Just kind of came up. thought it was kind of important. But let's get back into the talking about the mother canteen carrier. And I'll do a real quick little history. So we've been making these... I mean, what, I think like we're about to go into our fifth year. I, I think that's what it is. We've been making these, I think we were prototyping them in December five years ago. So like five, about five years ago, and then we started selling in January. So 2021 is going to be five years since we've been selling them. And how this came about is at that time I was making the G1 gear roll and the Thor, which is the tactical hunting outdoor recreational, like, you know, it was, it's not a plate care. It's more of a, like, a, well, it's a vest that encompasses a whole bunch of different things. But, and we'll probably bring that back too um, in the near future. But anyway, so we were making this. And then Jason from Lester River Bushcraft and uh, George from Puko Cutlery um, were kind of, you know, hey, you should do this and you should do that. And then one day it really was the squeaky wheel gets the grease. So I was sitting there talking with those guys and I was like, you know, okay, that's it. Let's just sit down. And within 15 minutes, I had it prototyped. And I'm not joking, we did it on a napkin at Georgia's shop. Because um, this, in essence, really has its roots in the canteen carriers that I used to have in the military back in the late 80s. So, you know, my very first duty station, Fort Campbell, Kentucky, I'm pretty sure it was my squad leader, my team leader, you know, when I got my, you know, my issue gear, you know, I, he said, oh, Greg, you know, here's your old military canteen carrier, right? So if you guys remember those, they used to have two small pockets on the side, like, you know, basically a pocket about the size of that buckle. And that's where your water purification tablets went in. And that was it, right? So... Uh, 101st, you know, it's an air assault unit. So, you know, my, again, I can't remember if it was a team leader squad leader. I don't, maybe it was the platoon sergeant. I don't remember what it was, but you know, we had strobe lights. He's like, take your strobe light pouch, you know, take your canteen, go to the alteration shop outside the post and then have that guy. He's going to rip your strobe light pouch in, in half and he's going to sew it to the outside uh, of this surface area here. So we could have our strobe lights here. Cause you know, you needed to use your strobe lights quite a bit, you know, just think about helicopter landing zones and all that kind of, you know, crap. Um, so you know, when Jason and, and George were like, hey, you make a canteen carrier, this was really easy to kind of design because, well, I just had a lot of experience already modifying them and, you know, using them, right? And, you know, just like anything, you want a product that's more than just a canteen carrier. So if you're looking for just a canteen carrier, like there's a gazillion <laughs> versions out there. Heck, you know, honestly, you could just grab a big old sock, you know, just grab a big old wool sock and throw your canteen inside of there if that's what you're really looking for. What I wanted to design here is a no joke, minimalist over the shoulder, but able to carry the maximum amount of gear that you possibly could, you know? And so I don't care how you look at it, whether it's food, fire, water, shelter, or shoot, move, communicate, medicate, however you look at your hierarchy of needs, I wanted you to be able to put as many of those mission critical items in a, in a, in a, in a parcel, in a bag that you could then throw over your shoulder, right? And as I said, we're gonna do a, a, a much more detailed loadout video uh, you know, regarding and showing you a whole bunch of things you can do, but that's what the mother canteen carry was. And that's why, you know, the term mother, cause I, and I think at that time, you know, we had the mother of all bombs going on. So I was like the mother of all canteen carriers, you know, type of concept. So it just became the mother, um, mother canteen carrier. And I know there's a joke in there, but <laughs> we'll just let that pass. All right. So going around, you know, from, you know, what is that, you know, stern to aft or whatever, from front to back around the world, here's the mother canteen carrier. So up in the front. So this is approximately, this is a six by about four. And I'm saying approximate because there's always room for expansion. So when you put a lot of gear, this can expand out to maybe two, a little over two inches, you know, but it's about approximately six inches, four inches. There is expansion. You could put even larger inch, you know, items in here because the pouch, the pocket flap will come up and uh, attach. And then that's why this bikini strap and the closure strap is long. Actually, you know what? I should almost just use this guy for some of these things too. So... All right, you're able to see that, right? Maybe just a mid, a midland spoon zoom. 
So in this pocket right here, you might want to put a shelter, um, gear, a small a flask. I don't know what you're going to put in here, but let's just say you wanted to put a jacket or a, a poncho or something out here. So the bikini strap is over large, so you can put items in there and then secure it, giving you more carrying options or freeing up the pockets themselves. And again, you know, kind of a, a shameless plug for other products. So we, in our gear strap kit, there's even a connector that goes between these two pieces right here. So you can get even more items out here. And that connector also allows you to put different taller items inside of the mother itself. Doesn't have to be a canteen. Let's say you're running a canteen with another cup that jump strap would allow the bikini strap to expand. And we'll cover all that stuff and I'll give you examples. But that's what we have on the outside. So you've got a Velcro closure pocket, you know, six by four. You can kind of get a sense of how much expansion's going on in there. I can get a lot of gear in there. And then you've got the bikini strap that comes up over the top. And then that's what holds it in place. And just because we're right here, before I go to the sides, I'll just do the bottom. So same thing, you see you've got two um, channels here on the bottom of webbing and that allows you to take whether it's 550 cord shock cord uh, uh, different straps we call them docking straps you know or drug straps but um, you can put straps here and then you could put like you know again our G2 or G1 gear roll but you could put a jacket all kinds of different items and now you can have that on slung to the bottom of your mother canteen care giving you even more carrying capacity right so going to the side pockets, and I've kind of already talked about that just a little bit with the shoulder strap. So on the top is the chasm buckle, and that's not quick attack, quick attack, quick attach surface mount. They are removable. And then, you know, the bottom side release is the actual connector. And you can see there's all kinds of expansion there. So going back into that, uh, that uh, point I was trying to make about, here, actually, just let me leave that right here. You know, I could have a big tarp or jack coming through here then coming through the front and then coming through the other side. So I could wrap that all the way around the mother canteen carrier. So you got a lot of expansion in there. Now this pocket, uh, I mean, it's still six inches. You know, it's a little over six inches again, cause there is still expansion. Now the chasm buckle does provide a little bit of rigidity on the top. So you don't have quite as much of flexibility in the pocket flap. And if that's what you're looking for, then reach out because then we can put the split bars here instead. So you only have one connection. So that's another option. This is probably about six by, uh, I'd give this about three, a little, just about three inches, you know, eh, a little over two inches. And then there's expansion. Again, you can see all the interior space expansion. And as I said, we're just gonna do once around the world, but I'll do a different loadout video and I'll show you all the different kind of gear that can go inside these side pockets. And, or you could just go to the website because, you know, I did that right up and uh, I know it sounds stupid, but, you know, I probably list like 10 different, you know, water bottles and, uh, and, and uh, different types of canteens. I give you a whole bunch of different examples in there. So if you're, a, you know, a literal person, you just want to read it, go to the website. But we will be shooting a loadout video pretty soon, soon and I'll give you a whole bunch of examples. All right. And then the back side, because, you know, obviously there's two sides to the canteen care. Then on the back side, it's Molly. And yeah, I got this one set up this way. So it's Molly on the back. So you can see it's Molly with rows. So you can either go, you know, uh, whatever you're going to attach it to. Let's say you're going to attach it to a rucksack. So, you know, weave it through your item, weave it through the mother, weave it through your item, back through the mother, and then secure it, you know, item or secure in the bottom. Or skip a row, and then that creates a channel, right? And then that can go around your waistline, or that can go around the waist pad of your rucksack if you wanted to put this on the waist pad of your rucksack. So, Again, we'll give you a whole bunch more examples of that when we get there. And then the interior, I think is where I kind of want to, you know, maybe end it on. So this isn't ever really probably going to show up. So I'll let Spoon do the spoon zoom. Jerks the camera around. Uh, you're not going to probably see this super well, but we use a special rubberized material. It's a soluble rubberized material in the interior. And what that's for is it helps prevent, you know, abrasion and, you know, and it just, it just absorbs a lot of the dirt, you know, it makes it easier to clean. You can turn it inside out. Uh, you know, you can wipe it off. You know, it just, it, it just, it's a protective, another protective layer on the inside where you might have a sharp surface or a, a rugged surface from, again, I don't know what type of canteen you're going to use, whether it's a heavy cover or a pathfinder or a, a Nalgene canteen because they make canteens as well. I don't know if you're going to have nesting cups. Um, you can run bottles in here as well. So, I mean, you know, don't, doesn't have to be a canteen. It is made for canteens, but it could be a bottle in here as well but so that's the interior surface and I'll do and I've got a video out but I'll again I'll do this in a in, in the loadout video and I'll show you a smart way to put your canteen and your canteen cup in there when this is fully loaded because it does make a difference 
And then, but in the back, and I'm hoping this is what I want to sh show up, is that we put a, uh, a, like a, a slip sleeve or like, you know, a second sleeve in the back. And that is an area that's designed for the canteen lid. And there's a couple small uh, uh, stoves that fit in here too, right? So and we'll, again, I'll, I'll cover that because there's a whole bunch of different companies. But so this sleeve area in the back, oh, let me just make sure I got it and I can see it is a space saving place. Now you could put this on the bottom of your canteen cup if you wanted, but that's what this is for right back there. If you can kind of see it, Spoon, you give me, I'm getting the thumbs up from Spoon, we're catching that, All right? But that's what that little space in the back is for. Um, I've seen a lot of people actually put the scabbard of a knife back in here and then the knife comes up and then the bikini goes around it. So that actually, then their knife is actually on the interior space of the, um, of the uh, canteen as well. And we're back. So I don't know what kind of technical difficulty glitch a card placeholder thing Big Spoon will throw in there. We'll be entertained when we see the final uh, version of this video. But um, I'm not sure if this will come out or the padded strap wrap will come out. But if you watch, if it's the padded strap wrap first, I've already made this announcement. So brand new SD card. Uh, we've used it for like eight videos. Already corrupted, right? So we're running a, I, I guess this is the brand new SD card. So the other brand new $100 SD card didn't work for shit. So we're doing a uh, reshoot in the very end of the padded strap wrap videos and the mother canteen carrier video. So just to bring it up to speed, you know, everything like hopefully, you know, held true. And when we actually edit it this time, we, we don't lose any more of the video, but what we missed and what we're going to reshoot here is I'm just going to show you something about the exterior loops on the mother canteen care. And then we're going to, that'll kind of wrap up and then we'll take it on out for the video. So let me put my eyeballs on, pull up my sleeves to get serious. All right. And so what we didn't cover in the last one uh, in the original or got edited out because of the corruption, uh, corruption, that seems to be a common phrase for some things that are going on in the world right now. Oh, we'll get back to that in a different uh, video. Anyway, trying to have a little humor here on a really windy, snowy, cold Friday in northern Minnesota. But the loops, the exterior loops on the mother canteen here. So I'll come into this guy because I think you can see it better. So in between, it, 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 here, Spoon, I'll try to keep everything right in this zone if you want to spoon, do the spoon zoom a little bit. And it doesn't have to be super close up. I think you guys will get the picture. I just want to point out that in between the side pockets and the main pocket on the mother canteen carrier, you have these large loops and they're just tie downs. Now you can run single Molly strap through there and, and you could mount your own pouch out there. But you know, the other purposes as you can see, so here I've just got a couple chem lights on the outside. On this side, I've got a ferrule rod, you know, with it, and both of them are dummy corded in place. And that's the intention of these loops is to, and I've just got a couple other props. So, and I've already talked about this, you know, there's a couple different ways you can put chem lights through here. You know, you don't want them just falling out, right? That would just be, well, what's the point of having that? So use some shock cord or some other type of, you know, uh, material and then dummy cord these things in place. But, but as you saw, you can get two, I'm just trying to give you a sense of how big these loops of the space. So you can get two chem lights in there. This is a uh, laser pointer and I don't know if that'll show up. Yeah, or I'm getting the nod that you guys can see this. And we're actually gonna have this in one of our, uh, I think next week we're gonna shoot a, an emergency signaling uh, video, just kind of having a little bit fun. And I'll show you this and how you can use this thing that you may have heard me call roping somebody in. But so anyway, one of these devices, now same thing, you'd wanna dummy cord this stuff. You don't wanna have a key item like this just residing in there. Cause if it falls out, then you're, if it falls out, you're S out of luck, right? So, but that size of an item, and these are kind of uh, common nowadays, um, that's probably, that's, well, it's, it's you know, uh, uh, God, CR 232, 230, I can't remember what that battery size is again, off the top of my head. This is a, um, uh, yeah, this is a Surefire light, flashlight, right? That guy can fit inside of there, and then, you know, that's got its own little lanyard, but I still would want to do the retention, you know, so I wouldn't want to lose this, but I'm just trying to give you a sense of sizing of how big these loops are and what you can fit through, it, fit inside there. So, and as everything else I've talked about in a couple other videos, you know, if you can put a couple more items in these locations out here, that's freeing up space from your interior pockets, whether it's the main pocket or the side pocket for you. Now you can put even more uh, items out there. So maximum amount of gear and a minimum amount of space, right? So that's kind of what we're striving for. Um, I think on the way out here, what I'll just do is I'll just do uh, once around the table, um, talking about, you know, uh, I, and I apologize. And I, I know a lot of you guys and gals already get this, but you know, 
you know, I want to keep the, the website, you know, keep it simple, stupid. And I feel that if I started doing drop downs for the thread, the binding tape, you know, that, that it just gets too complicated, right? But I wanted to highlight and use this as an, ex an opportunity to point out everything is handcrafted, right? So um, you can pick and choose. Now on the website, your options are the Kadura and the webbing. And when we see a webbing, we usually follow that pattern if, you know, with the thread, the logo, the binding tape and the uh, buckles, if you don't reach out to me. So multi-cam tropic, multi-cam tropic webbing. Uh, these, these are ranger green uh, buckles. They actually have a different color called common uh, or Canadian average green. I really love that color, color and unfortunately, and I shouldn't be doing a negative, there's just not enough consistency. So ITW Nexus, if you're watching this, make keg Canadian average green a regular because I really love that color plastic, but I couldn't get everything in uh, Canadian average green, but the Ranger green looks really good too. But you can get the, the different color plastics. So again, ITW Nexus, the best plastics out there. Another plug, so make me Canadian average green, ITW Nexus. Um, the logo, you can get different color logos. This area right here, this material, get this out of the way. This area right here, this is called binding tape, right? So we have different colors and binding tape. Uh, and then the thread, as I just mentioned. So you can pick and choose, right? This is your product. I work for you. The moment you place that order, you know, we work for you. Uh, we don't take that for granted. So if you got questions and comments, as I always say, you know, reach out anytime, you know, emoticonies and all that stuff. But, but I really mean it. Don't take it. I don't take it for granted. So reach out anytime, you know, email, phone call. I'm a dinosaur, so I still kind of prefer those other message, you know, methods. But if you want to direct message me, you know, I'm not always the best on, you know, Instagram. So, but if you do direct message me, I will get back to you. Um, but you know, you know the deal guys and gals uh, reach out anytime. I'll do the best I can to help you out. And on that note, big spoon, I think we made up for all the corruption, right? I'm getting the two thumbs up from the spoon behind the camera. So on that note, everybody be good. Oh, Woo! Oh, oh.